This lesson discusses measuring short-run economic growth. Key terms. Nominal GDP, a gross domestic product figure that has not been adjusted for inflation. Real GDP, an inflation-adjusted measure that reflects the value of all goods and services produced in a given year, expressed in base year prices. Real GDP per capita, a measure of the total output of a country that takes the gross domestic product and divides it by the number of people in the country. Output growth, an increase in the capacity of an economy to produce goods and services compared from one period of time to another. And the GDP deflator shows how much of a change in the base year's GDP relies upon changes in the price level. Measuring short-run economic growth. Note, measurements are in billions. For year one, the nominal GDP is 4,000, the price index is 125, and the population is 9. For year two, the nominal GDP is 5,500, the price index is 150, and the population is 10. Real GDP equals the nominal GDP times 100 divided by the price index. For year one, the nominal GDP is 4,000 times 100 divided by the price index of 125. So the real GDP for year one equals 3,200. For year two, the nominal GDP is 5,500 times 100 divided by the price index which is 150, and the real GDP for year two equals 3,667. Real GDP per capita equals real GDP divided by the population. For year one, the real GDP is 3,200, and the population is nine. So the real GDP per capita equals 355 for year two, the real GDP is 3,667, and the population is 10. The real GDP per capita for year two is 366.7. Output growth equals the real GDP in year two minus the real GDP in year one divided by the real GDP in year one times 100. The real GDP in year two is 3,667 minus the real GDP in year one, which is 3,200, divided by the real GDP in year one, which is 3,200, times 100 equals an output growth of 14 0.6%. The GDP deflator. If year two was made the base year for the GDP price deflator index, the value of the index number for year one would be, well, the GDP deflator equals the nominal GDP divided by the real GDP times 100. So the nominal GDP would be 4,000. The real GDP would be 5,500 times 100 would give us a GDP deflator of 72.7.